This will be your first time playing it at the link on Christmas Day with the Eagles fans probably not welcoming you, welcoming you warmly. I heard it's a pretty hostile environment. I'm looking forward to it. I, I like to thrive in those environments. You like being well, a, you like being a villain? It's fun. It's part of the game. I like I like a hostile crowd. What's the most hostile crowd you ever faced? Mm. A Bergen Bosco game. You ever seen one of those? Fifteen thousand in the crowd. Don't go well for your family and all. <laughs> what do you What do you think will be going through your head when they're booing you, what, wishing you a happy Christmas or a Merry Christmas in their in their own way? Oh. I say Merry Christmas right back. That's that. How big uh, would a winning this this team? Obviously, they lost to the Eagles last year in the playoffs three times last year. How big would a win against that team mean sort of for you in your future? It'd be huge. I think all wins are huge, obviously. Um, but, you know, when you're coming off a loss like we did last week, you just you don't make that win much, that much better. But to have a win against the Eagles would sort of be like an extra boost on the resume, no? Uh, I guess so. I don't know. I've never played against the Eagles before in the league, so my, my slate at the moment is 0-0, oh, so I look forward to going out and just trying to be 1-0. What have you observed about their defense? They're good. They're a good team. They have a good defensive line, but at the same time, not everybody's Superman, so we'll go out and handle business. Um, you pride yourself on your resilience bouncing back from defeats in general? Yeah, I think that's part of the quarterback position, whether it's defeats, interceptions, missed throws, whatever it is. It's always the next play mentality, and then when it comes to games, the next game mentality. Where's your confidence level right now? Hi. Huh? Never wavers, does it? Does not. What did you, what did you make of all the, the stuff kind of with the pizza place and then you went there and smoothed things over? You know, what made you want to go do that? And what did you make of all the kind of confusion about how that went down? Yes, yeah, so obviously there was, there was a million things going on. There still is. And um, some stuff just slipped through the cracks. And as soon as I got word about what was going on, I got word via my telephone. I'm sure some of you did for ESPN. I was, what is this? Made some calls to uh, my team at the time and got it sorted out and wanted to get over there. I found out, what's today? Wednesday? Found out Monday, said I need to go there the next day. Went there Tuesday, went over there, face to face conversation, talked to them, and then you know, I did hire a new marketing team to handle all that just so everything can be smoothed over and nothing like that happens. Again. I would think there's a perception that you, uh, and Sean has become a prominent person, that, that you fired him, which is not the case, right? It's not the case, well, no. Sean. Just clarify what exactly his arrangement is with you now, specifically. Sean is my contract agent. That's what he is. And I have a marketing team now to handle all the other stuff. Tyler, what, what have you learned about popularity and sudden fame and how things have changed in a month and just how just out of nowhere you kind of get hit with stuff like this that you don't really see coming? Yeah. Um, everything you do is under a microscope times 100, even more now. Um, so anything that happens, it's going to be in some kind of article somewhere, like how this happened. I'm sure if this happened a month ago, it probably wouldn't, probably would not have happened how it did, but it did. So, you know, got cleaned up, but just continue to be yourself, though. A lot more to slip through the cracks, do you think, that, than you would have ever realized being in this position now? Yeah, I would Coming definitely up. never have hoped for anything like that to slip through the cracks. Um, but so I hired more people on a team to be able to handle all that so I can be here and focus on football and what, and what my job is. Has it been a tough adjustment, Tommy? Knowing that everything you do now is under the microscope? No, I've always kind of been like that throughout high school, college. Like, I know how it is at the quarterback position, no matter what level it is. Obviously, now it's more, but you got to be yourself and be a good person at all times. With everything going on around you, have you stressed even more to everyone around you that this is where your priority has to be and whatever else happens, they'll let you know when it's time to do that stuff? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. I mean, I don't handle any talks until everything is finalized with the contract in front of my face and then I sign it. That's the only time I like to know about what things are going on um, because that's their job to figure out and do all that because I am here doing this. And my family knows that, my agents know that, marketing team, everybody knows that. So that's part of the reason I live home as well, so they can handle all that. So I don't have to worry about anything but being here in the building.